You're watching a Marvel Legend production, eh? What's going on, guys? I am the Marvel Legend, and today I'm checking out something that's not actually a Marvel Legend. Today I'm doing Dragon Ball Super. This is the Dragon Stars Super Saiyan 4 Goku. As you can see, this is the front of this. Here is the side. Some little some art there. It's Goku, as you can see. Nice and pretty. Super Saiyan 4. And, of course, here is the back with all the different characters. He's part of the Series 9. And then we can also see uh, Series 10 is over the different characters I have here as well. So, there's the other side. There's that. So, with that done, I guess we can just crack this bad boy open. Okay, so pulling it out of the case, as you can see, it's in its uh, plastic shell there. As well as some uh, cardboard backing right there. We'll take that off a while. Um, so far, it looks like it's pretty easy to get out. I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, here's his tail. Yep, that came out very easy. Here's some hands. That came out easy. Cool. Sometimes I'm opening these packages and I feel like I'm going to break the actual plastic of the uh, action figures. Usually the figures are strong enough plastic, but I haven't opened any other Dragon Ball Z characters yet I have. So... I'm just trying to play it safe. Marvel Legends usually does a good job. I have yet to have one of my figures break. And sometimes I'm like really scared that it might. But so far, looks like it's okay. It's coming out. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Come on. Get out of there. All right. There we go. So there we go. That is our Super Saiyan 4 Goku, as you can see. Um, as I'm looking at the figure, if you look at their arms, I feel like the shoulders of these figures are just not, like, I don't know, they're, I guess they're supposed to be so they can articulate a lot easier, but I'm looking at it right now, man, that, uh, those shoulders are real bulky. Yeah, that's exactly why that's developed that way, but it is kind of interesting to me because, like, I don't know, I guess I... I'm just not used to that. Like I said, I only really have Marvel Legends, so to see like more figures with this grade of articulation, I guess that's that's a good thing. It's just I'm not used to it. <laughs> Still looks good though. I guess when he's just kind of posed in there, so that's that's pretty good. You know, he just he's just kind of standing there being Goku. So right away we'll see this different type of articulation, like I mentioned. Um, he looks up, he looks around, looks pretty good. I guess you can turn his head all the way around. So that's pretty cool. I guess you can kind of get a lot of poses out of this guy. Uh, if you look here, shoulders swivel all the way around. Really nice joint right there. Look at that. I mean, like I said, I'm not particularly a fond of it when it looks like this. Like, like that just looks weird. <laughs> look at that. Look at his arms. That looks, that looks a little crazy to me. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. I guess it's all right. I mean, from certain angles like, like this, you wouldn't even notice it, you know. You can get more uh, range of motion like that. But from this angle, that just kind of looks a little rough. Not terrible, like I said, just kind of, this is a little rough. Uh, moving over to arm, this swivels right here. Looks like we got some elbow joint movement there and some hand movement. And of course the hand actually is on a ball swivel so you can kind of move it all the way around. That's pretty cool. Um, waist swivels, he goes, oh, well. Uh, so I, as you can see, <laughs> that's how they actually have him connected on a ball joint. That's interesting. Not usually, um, I don't see that on many figures. I don't think I've ever had a Marvel Legends that's, that's done that to that extent. Wow. So that just popped off pretty easily. So just watch how much you twist Goku because he might pop in half. <laughs> so we have, uh, some hip movement. You can do a complete like cheerleader, uh, stance right there. So that's pretty cool. He flips all the way around. Uh, it's a little loose feeling. Like I said, I don't know if it's if it's this figure specifically. Maybe I just have a pretty loose figure. But um, this figure does feel a little loose. I don't know. Uh, knees, they go up like that. That looks good. And of course, then there is the um, ankle pivot right there. Oop, and the ankle pops off too. So, <laughs> wow, this is a pretty um, fragile figure, I'd say. Compared to Mar my Marvel Legends, I don't think I've ever had a Marvel Legends popped twice like that first in half and then one with the foot so man that's it's a little bit you know rough but i guess that's the way it is you know so i'll see with his uh tail plugged in here pop in there boy his tail is actually on a ball swivel but it isn't like i thought it might be like a wire you know some of the marvel legends the, the new ones are able to do that this one's just like a plastic so unfortunately that's just what it is i mean it's not that big of a deal 
Not something you really notice, but it is kind of like, I guess it is kind of a little annoying, but it is what it is, you know? All right, so there's a close up on his face. That actually looks really good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that, to tell you the truth. I mean, look at like his uh, spikes are looking good. That looks really nice, actually. Uh, the chest paint looks decent, you know? Um, like I said, that arm thing just kind of bothers me, but I guess that's just, you know, personal preference. For me, it, it bothers me, but for some people, it might not even notice it, so I guess that's cool. Uh, over here, his pants. I kind of wish there's a little more art to, like, the pants here. Like, it's just plastic. Like, there is no extra art. If you look at the box, let me see. On the box, well, maybe not. Uh, this figure particularly doesn't show it. But on the box, I guess it kind of looks like there is more detail, but maybe it's just the shadow. Looks like there's a little more extra art or a little more uh, paint to certain things. I'm going to see how the rest of these figures do. I think I have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Piccolo still. But, uh, yeah, so just stay tuned for future figures, reviews, and stuff, and I'll kind of compare this to the other ones I have. But for right now, this is kind of just what I got, and... Uh, it's pretty cool. I'd say overall it's very uh, accurate to the um, to the anime. I know GT isn't exactly beloved by a lot of people, but for me, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's not nearly as good as Dragon Ball Z, but I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> I can definitely see why people would don't like it, but it is what it is. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please want to like and subscribe for more. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos like this, not just with. Of course, Dragon Ball Z figures, but also with my Marvel Legends figures, so just keep an eye out for that. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace.